We're in Mariana, Florida, Greenwood, Jackson County. We're about 70 miles northwest of Tallahassee. Uh, we got about 90 cattle on this farm right now. 51 uh, heifers, the rest are calves, and two bulls included. Aaron Granberry and his family race cattle in the Florida Panhandle. He devotes each day to the care and well-being of his herd. This stewardship also extends to the land that his cattle grazes upon. Like many dryland farm operators in northwest Florida, the Granberries have to take extra care of the topsoil to prevent erosion and nutrient runoff. Without the infrastructure in place to provide irrigation, the family must implement a series of well-calculated and interconnected best management practices, or BMPs, to ensure sustainable pastures. These BMPs include no-till seed drilling, soil testing, GPS-based precision nutrient application, using portable pens and subdivided pastures, and dragging the pastures to spread the cattle's manure. What we do is we do no-till drilling, which is uh, less erosive on the, on the ground itself, and it helps to protect our water sources. Well, no-till drill is where you can plant your grass, your legume, whatever you want to plant, without disturbing the soil. It keeps uh, the seeds in the ground, put them at the depth that you want, and it doesn't destroy the grass roots, and uh, the soil doesn't get disturbed either and you get a good, good uh, uh, crop of grass uh, for uh, winter grazing. We have to keep water because everything that walks on this earth uses water in some form to drink, to live in. You know, we need it. With rising input costs and increasing labor shortages, Farmers are seeking out ways to efficiently get the most out of every acre of land. GPS units allow farmers to practice precision agriculture, tailoring their crop and soil management activities, like tilling, spraying, planting, or nutrient application, to the specific conditions found in each pasture. It's like a map, and as you, as you drive it and as you're planting something or spraying the field, it'll have a blue line that goes across right behind it as you're driving. So as soon as you turn over for the next row, it'll tell you the row that you, the, that you already went over and it'll help you like stay aligned and keep track so you don't miss any spots. And that way uh, we won't over fertilize and the grass will get the nutrients that they need instead of doing guesswork. And we put out the exact amount because of the, uh, with the GPS, it doesn't overlap. By maximizing his time while minimizing his efforts, Granberry is using less to grow more. Dragging Pastures is a BMP that provides health benefits not only to the soil but to the herd as well. Dragging once a week breaks up manure piles, spreading nutrients evenly across the pastures, building up the soil. Equally important, Dragging also controls insect and parasite populations by exposing them to the deleterious effects of sunlight. This practice also helps prevent selective grazing where high manure areas are avoided, allowing for more land to be available as a food source. In combination with other BMPs, dragging pastures helps increase forage quality and quantity while lowering nutrient application cost. Preparing the pastures is a year-round process. After the herd has sufficiently grazed in one field, Granberry will rotate them to a different area so he can restore the grazed pasture. When you have cattle on the property, the cattle pack the property. So the, the aeration, what it does is loosen up the soil so the rain water can soak through the fertilized nutrient can get to the roots and also allows the roots to uh, yeah. Using a special attachment on his tractor, he perforates the ground with small holes, breaking up and aerating the hard-packed soil. While not a BMP, this practice is performed instead of the traditional strip-tilling method of turning the soil, which too often results in erosion of the topsoil in the dry hills of North Florida. 
I normally do mines in the early spring, just before I fertilize. And uh, actually it helps the uh, lagoon, the grass grow uh, thicker and more firmer. Rotational grazing is a key BMP for soil health. Using portable pens and subdivided pastures, Granberry can move cattle from one pasture to another to help prevent overgrazing and soil compaction. With the portable pen, uh, if we move from one side of the road to the other side of the road, but on this side of the road over here, we have uh, our pastures all sectioned off. So we have gates that we run them through and from one uh, pasture to the other one. If we get to move over to the other herd on the other side of the road, then we utilize the portable pen and uh, we round them up in the pen and take them over to the other side of the road. We also use the portable pen to uh, do all of our, uh, our vet things. Uh, we have to uh, deworm them, uh, whatever we have to do for cows have a calf and perhaps we need to pull the calf. Uh, we can always take the pen to where the cow is instead of trying to drive the cow to the pen. For farming and ranching families like the Granberries, land stewardship is crucial to the success of their operation. While every farm may face different challenges to their agricultural prosperity, they all share the same goal, to protect and care for the land for future generations, leaving it in better condition than they found it. My grandfather passed it down to my father, and my father passed it down to me. I passed it down to my grandson and then he passed it down to his kids and we just want to keep going from generation to generation. Make sure you maintain the property, keep it up, and you always have something. He's going to take it over. I've already committed to giving it to him and he's 100% uh, involved. So he does most of the work now. His working out here helps his grandfather, helps us, and, he, and it teaches him how to take care of the serve. And as long as we are working together and taking care of this land, we'll have it forever. They're not making no more land and it's hard to come by. Land is always getting sold or gone and people putting all different types of stuff on it. No more trees, no more nothing. So I think it is pretty important to keep the generational aspect of it going. It's instilled in him that this property here is his and they don't make any more land. So the best thing for you to do is keep it and train your children to keep it. And you instill in them that train their children to keep it. So therefore it should just go on for generation, for generation, after generation. <laughs>